Microlino is not a car, that is what it says in the advertising material for Microlino. Uh, what it is, it's called a L7E vehicle. That's a small vehicle, maximum weight 450 kilos in Europe, and uh, that weight is plus the battery. So this vehicle is about 500 kilos uh, heavy, which is uh, not a lot. The benefit of having a small vehicle like this, of course, is that the consumption is very low. The consumption per 100 kilometers of a Microlino is about 7 kilowatts. If you compare that to a, another small vehicle, for instance, the uh, Fiat 500, also fully electrical, they would have approximately twice the consumption of the Microlino. So the Microlino looks very smart indeed, and it has some fantastic cool features as well. One of them are these uh, headlamps torpedo headlamps, that's, as we can call them, integrated headlamps and a mirror on the other side as well. And uh, the cool feature continues in the front of the car where you have this line that uh, goes uh, over the entire width of the Microlino. It also has a uh, sunroof standard on all models. The windows open, can slide back, so you can get some fresh air if you want that as well. And you've got a uh, front wipe in the front to keep uh, the screen clean on a rainy day. One of the coolest features, obviously, is uh, when you open the car. For that, you need this little button, and here and you'll have a soft opening of the front door and you can jump in the car. When you sit in the Microlino, you have a feeling that this is a much bigger car. When, you, when you're inside, you don't feel the compact dimensions that you see on the outside. The quality of the components and, and the equipment is a very high quality. And, and this is considering the fact that this is one of the early production vehicles. And I'm sure they'll be even better as time passes and they can optimize production. Um, this is a Pioneer series car. There will be in total four different trim levels. The Pioneer, there will be a Competizione, there will be a Dolce, and there will be an urban trim level, four different levels. Uh, they all have the same engine, a 17 horsepower electrical engine, and that is, uh, is equivalent of 12 and a half kilowatts. Uh, you will have the option of three different batteries. The smallest is a six kilowatt hour battery, the medium size, which we have in this vehicle, 10 and a half kilowatt battery, and the larger battery, a 14 kilowatt hour battery. The biggest battery will give you a range under best conditions, 220 kilometers, and uh, the smallest will give you a range of about 90 to 100 kilometers, all depending on how cold it is and where you drive and how fast. Inside the Microlino, you have a speedometer in the front, which is a screen. To the left, you have a gear selector. You can uh, choose R for reverse, and neutral is N and D for drive. To the left as well, you have a handbrake, conventional handbrake. So you pull it, you feel uh, the resistance, and you know the car is parked. And to the right of the uh, steering wheel, you have a small menu, iPhone style. You can choose for the blower. You can uh, turn on the heating. Uh, you can turn on the uh, heated uh, um, defrosters, front and rear, and you can move on, open the hatch, turn on the uh, lights inside, and uh, the menu also gives you some more optional settings, including changing the uh, layout of the uh, speedometer. All really well executed and nice to play with. Charging the Microlino is uh, very easy because you can charge at home from a normal wall plug. The smallest 6 kilowatt battery will charge at 1.35 kilowatt, and it will take you about 3 hours to get to 80%. The two other bigger batteries, 10.5 and 14 kilowatt batteries, are charging at 2.6 kilowatt, so it will take you 3 hours to 4 hours, depending on which battery, to get to 80%. The fast chargers cannot be used with the Microlino. A big surprise to me when I looked at it at the first time, so you can put in 
you know, cobbler bags or uh, shopping or even kids' bikes, you know, would fit in into the trunk of the Microlino. Back in uh, 1994, um, the company was uh, founded by the Oboda family and they started producing kick scooters, small scooters that we uh, see the kids use when they go to school uh, or we use them uh, downtown when we park our cars and go to work. Uh, these scooters uh, became a overnight success in 1999. Uh, the company took off and uh, they've been selling millions of these scooters ever since. In 2014, the Oboda family, um, Wim and his two sons, Merlin and Oliver, they were thinking about you know, finding a revolutionary uh, way of uh, changing mobility. And they came up with this idea in, inspired by the Isetta from the 50s and um, said, we can make a vehicle that is you know, similar to the car, but without all the negatives from the cars. A couple of years later, in uh, March of uh, 2016, they took uh, the Microlino to Geneva Motor Show. They had a small stand, and that's where I saw it for the first time. And instantly, you just say, ah, that's a great idea. But from this great idea to uh, getting the project on wheels as we uh, experience it now, of course, is a lot of hard work and a lot of challenges and disappointments. Uh, but now the project is uh, on its feet. They started then ramping up the project, getting it to production level, prototypes were built. And in 2022, they delivered the first 60 cars to customers. In uh, 2023, the plan is to deliver between 4,000 and 5,000 cars to customers and eventually ramping up in 24, 25, uh, they should be able to get to about 11,000 vehicles per year. Now, will they find customers for this number of cars? I'm sure they will. Um, the trend is uh, with them. Mobility in the city is taking a turn to lighter, much more efficient vehicles. And this is where Macrolino will fit perfectly that bill. Okay, let's do one more burst. Here we go. 30, 40, and 60. So Mikolino does consistently, and now we have two people in the car, will hit in 8.8 .8 seconds, zero to 60, consistently. Uh, we've done five uh, different lap times now, and uh, it seems that it is a quite stable performance. So I think for what uh, Mikolino sets out to do with this vehicle, it delivers on all the parameters you want it to. Obviously, this is not a car. This is a city vehicle that will deliver most of the things that you need when you whiz around the town and you want to buy groceries or pick up uh, someone downtown. You can sit two people in it very comfortably. Uh, we tried that over a longer distance. It works really well with two people. Inside the vehicle is much more spacious than you would either, you know, actually think that it is when you look from the outside. It delivers on space, it delivers on fun, it also delivers on locket space, and certainly it delivers on the speed and the ease with which you can move around downtown with a Micolino. So if you want to give uh, the vehicle a verdict, normally I would, uh, I would give a car stars depending on how good it is. This is not a car, so I'm not going to give it any stars, but you know, for what it delivers and what it can do and they set out to do, this is the real thing. So it gets from me, it gets four smileys because that's how you feel when you drive the Micolino. If you consider a small car for downtown use, this is the one you should go and test drive. You know, I would recommend it. At least you will certainly get a smile when you do that. So have fun.